This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel are meant for educational and informational purposes only. I cannot guarantee you will make money nor will have the same experience as mine in this video. I'm just showing you different websites, apps, and methods that have the potential of making money. I'm not also a financial advisor nor an expert in such. So make sure you always do your own research first. Magandang umaga, tanghali, or gabi sa inyo mga kajiji. So, nandito na naman po tayo sa isang panibagong NFT game info video na gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo, which is itong The Dynasty Game, okay? So, bago tayo magsimula, take note po, sharing info lang po ako sa inyo. Kayo pa rin po magde-decide kung gusto nyo itong subukan or hindi. Kung bago ka lang po sa mga gantong klaseng platform such as itong NFT games, make sure po guys na, na mag-research muna po kayo regarding about sa cryptocurrency NFTs and pag-isipan nyo muna po ng maraming beses. So, maging malino tayo doon guys. Okay? So, ito po yung ginawa kong presentation about sa Dynasty. So, tandaan nyo may mga sources po tayo kung saan ko po yan uh, binisis. So, ililib ko naman yung mga sources na yon sa description box ko below if you wanted to check it guys. Okay? So, simulan na natin. So, ito yung mga ididiscuss ko sa inyo guys or tatalakay natin dito sa video na to no. So, what is Dynasty? Yung NFTs nila, gameplay, marketplace, tokenomics, and roadmap. So, simulan natin, ano nga ba itong si The Dynasty, no? So, what is The Dynasty? An actual play-to-earn game. So, makikita nyo guys dito, play-to-earn po itong uh, NFT game na to. A beautiful NFT collection. A fair play uh, mechanism transparent with an extremely attractive gameplay. Your ability to make money will depend on your skills and mindset. The better you are, the more rewards you will earn. Super appealing monthly rewards and ranking mode for those who contribute and lead. The game is developed on uh, many platforms such as mobile, iOS, Android, and Facebook Play platform. So available pa to sa uh, Facebook Play, oh, ma. Makikita nyo dito guys, no? So, abangan natin yan, no? Kasi as of now, guys, hindi pa na-release yung live game nito, no? So, upcoming NFT game pa lang po ito na gusto ko i-share sa inyo. So, ayun po. Sana malino sa inyo na isa pong play to earn game po ito. Then, papakita ko naman sa inyo later on yung uh, ano ba yung gameplay na itong The Dynasty, no? So, make sure na panoorin nyo ito ng buo. So, ito nga po, no, mga ka no? Anong po ba yung mga play to earn feature po ng The Dynasty? Eto, makikita nyo na nga dito mismo guys, no? yung unang-una is yung The Dynasty game itself, yung NFT game nila. Na magkakaroon kayo o pwede kayo mag-earn ng DYT token rewards based sa ability and skill nyo sa game. The more skilled and creative you are, the more you will earn. So play not click to, ibig sabihin siguro nitong tutukoy nila dito na play not click. Idol game po itong si The Dynasty. The game is developed on multiple platforms. Gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, pwede siya sa iOS, Android, and Facebook Play. Then, meron din po silang NFT Marketplace kung saan pwede rin kayo mag-earn dito guys sa NFT Marketplace kung saan pwede kayo mag-trade ng NFTs, di ba? Uh, di naman niya mawawala guys sa NFT games eh. Then, magkakaroon din sila ng ranking and tournaments kung saan pwede rin kayo mag-earn ng DYT tokens. So makikita nyo naman dito, rewards uh, for the best warriors are held monthly based on their achievements in conquering new lands and in the fairest PvP battle. So meron ding parang MMR dito diba kung sa uh, Axie Infinity ba diba? So rankings. So kapag nasa mataas na rank ka, uh, pwede kang manalo ng tokens. Then ito pa guys, meron din silang, sorry, meron din silang staking and farming. So ang ibig sabihin lang nito, Uh, pwede kayo mag-stake ng tokens at the same time, pwede rin kayo mag-farm. So, the farming mechanism also helps the player even when you are asleep. In addition to participate in combat, you can automatically cultivate and harvest. A large amount of DYT tokens will go automatically into the Dynasty Wallet. So, ayun nga guys, no? 
Uh, di pa natin kasi sure kung ano yung magiging itsura or paano ba yung sistema na itong staking and farming. Ito ba yung common na, let's say, na i-stake mo lang sa uh, kanilang website or ito yung tipong nandun mismo sa game itself. So, hindi pa natin yan sure. So, hintayin na lang natin yan, guys, once na maging live yung game nila. Then, ito pa, which is itong IDO pre-sale nila Launchpad platform. Uh, the Dynasty Launchpad platform will help DYT holders optimize their profits, helping the DYT coins they hold to get more and more valuable with the right to participate in IDO and pre-sale for DYT holders. We will focus, ayun na nakalagay dito sa kanilang ano, we will focus on our strengths to select and connect gaming, NFT, marketplace, multi-chain projects to bridge the release. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang pong the Dynasty ang pwedeng i-release uh, through the uh, DYT uh, holders. No? Marami pa silang naiisip na play to earn projects. So, advantage yun guys kung DYT token holder uh, dito sa mismong game na to. No? So, di pa natin yan sure. Wala pang official guys kung ano ba yung mga games na i-release po nitong uh, Dynasty Launchpad. So, intayin na lang natin yan, no? Upcoming pa naman yan. Ito na, pag-usapan na natin yung sa NFTs nila, no? So, uh, hero din po ang tawag doon sa mga NFT characters dito. So, paano nga ba mag-summon ng hero, no? The house helps you summon your character. You can only own the character during the game's minimal sales. For the rest, you will have to find and gather characters through the game. So, ibig sabihin, uh, makikita nyo naman dito, guys, no? Minimal sales lang. So, limited lang po yung mga characters dito sa The Dynasty, no? So, pag naubos na yun, uh, kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng character pa, ng another character dito, kailangan nyo maghanap mismo sa game itself. Ayun na nakalagay dito, guys, no? So, pick up character pieces and summon them. Each champion requires several pieces of that champion with different amounts, depending on its strength and rarity. Maybe 10 out of 10 pieces or 15 out of 15 or 20 out of 20. When enough champion pieces are required, you can summon that character here. So, ibig sabihin, pag nabuo mo yung pieces na yun, for example, nga, requirements is 10 over 10 pieces. Pag meron na kayo nun, pwede na kayo magkaroon ng champion. Some uh, rare champions will only be able to summon through gathering from puzzle pieces collected in the game and the level of the world mi milestone you conquer. So, nakadepende nga guys no, sa mga nakukuha nyo or nagagather nyo yung puzzle no, para makapagsummon kayo ng hero dito sa The Dynasty. Then, ito nga yung sa NFTs nila. Example, heroes nila. So, ito si uh, Grey-Headed Sword na tiyatawag na hindi ko mabasa yung pangalan. Baka mamali akong mabasa. So, uh, parang nakikita ko dito is Nerzid. Then, ito si Eternal Flame which is Apoxil. Then yung The Bow of Legendary, uh, si Vajstra. Okay. I don't know if I uh, spelled it or uh, pronounced it correctly, no? Pero ayan yung nabasa ko sa kanila yung example NFTs nila. Then ito yung mga sampled skills, guys. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, ayan na, no, makikita nyo dito. Ito yung skills ni Haddad, the King of Thunder. And ito yung skills ni ba Vajstra, the bow of legendary. So, kung gusto nyo pang makakita ng mga more sample skills, pwede nyo i-check sa kanilang white paper na naililib ko naman po sa description box ko below. Pero makikita nyo naman guys, yung animation is uh, maganda siya, no? Okay siya. So, next na natin. Then, pag-usapan din natin guys, since nasa NFT characters na rin tayo, pag-usapan din natin yung item system dito sa game itself, no? So, meron dito, makikita nyo guys na anim na items na pwedeng gamitin ng hero dito mismo sa The Dynasty, no? Una is weapons, then pangalawa is helmets, pangatlo is armor, pangapat is glove, uh, panglima is shoes, and panganim is wings. So, ito yung mga uh, items na pwedeng suotin ng heroes nyo dito, no? Para mas lumakas pa yung character NFT nyo dito sa game itself. So, each hero will have their own equipment and cannot wear other heroes' clothes. So, nakadepende guys din yung uh, susuotin yung items. Depende sa hero na ginagamit nyo, no? So, items gained from battles can be sold on marketplace. Each equipment will help the hero to increase combat power. Gaya nga na sinabi ko, uh, pwede nyo gamitin itong items ito para mas lumakas pa yung characters nyo. Ayan na guys, no? Increase monster farming speed, increase experience, and increase rewards. So, take note nyo to guys yung sa item system, ha? Napaka-importante nyan. Then, ito na. Pag-usapan na rin din natin dito yung gameplay. So, wala pang uh, actual live gameplay, guys, or example gameplay sa kanila website, no? So, wala tayong parang basis ng, may, ano, ah, ng kanilang parang itsura mismo. So, 
uh, mag upload ako ng updated video about it once na ma-release yung beta test nila, no? Kasi wala pa, kahit yung beta test nila, wala pa rin sa public, eh. Hindi pa na-release, eh. So, ito pa lang, uh, information pa lang po ang maaari kong maibigay sa inyo about to sa gameplay nila. So, ito nga, yung the interface na game is your world, and each house will have a different function, which will be updated continuously according to the game. So, i-update naman daw palagi nila yung game, no? Then, ito. So, meron three types of raid doon sa game itself, no? So, una is itong tiyatawag nilang heroes. So, ano nga ba itong heroes game? In this game mode, you will transform into a character and you will use your skills to control the character to conquer the landmarks on this world map. There are many milestones as well as mons uh, monsters. The difficulty will increase gradually. You will receive rewards and random items that drop from monsters. Watch out for the boss monsters that will be very powerful and you may need to upgrade something to expand your world map. So, para, ito guys, ito yung example uh, pick na nakita ko sa kanilang uh, white paper. No? So, ayun yung source natin dito. Yun yung basis natin. Makikita nyo, ang naalala ko dito guys is yung uh, nireview kong Uh, Nine Chronicles Kung napanood niya yung aking NFT game uh, Regarding about it Same to yung uh, Game mode na to yung which is yung heroes Parang ganon Idle game siya na aatake yung heroes nyo Sa mga monsters na madadaanan niya Then magdadrop ng items Then possible na pwede kayo makukuha ng rare items Doon sa mga dinadrop ng monsters dito sa heroes game mode no? So yun yung aking basis guys Yun yung aking uh, parang uh, nakikita dito sa kanilang Uh, parang information about sa Heroes Game Mode sa Raid PBE nila, no? So, we'll see pa rin. Hindi ko pa rin naman sure kung tama ako do sa aking pag-analyze sa kanilang uh, itong Game Mode na to. Pero malalaman natin talaga yung final nyan once na ma-release yung gameplay. Okay? Then, ito naman yung next, guys, na type of Raid or PBE or Adventure dito sa The Dynasty, no? which is itong Uh, kingdom game mode So ano nga ba itong kingdom game mode no? So makikita nyo pa lang dito sa Ako, nung na, una ko nakita yung picture pa lang Parang tower defense yung dating niya So makikita nyo nga dito A legion of monsters is on its way to attack your castle So ayan na nga Yan na yung, yan na yung parang buod guys Nandyan pa lang makikita nyo para sa description Tower defense na Your mission is to defend the castle against those attacks Build and upgrade champions to protect the path to your castle Pay attention, the monsters don't always follow the main road to your castle. You will receive rewards and conquer milestones, expanding the map of the castles you have to depend in this game mode. You can only use the generals you have in this game mode, upgrade your character's strength, and arrange the positions of the generals properly to defend your castle successfully. So, makikita nyo naman ito din. So, campaign, gather men and gods together to fight ancient mythical monsters. In this mode, you will combine arrange up to five generals to form a team to fight monsters. A campaign will have two waves of monsters. Sometimes you will have to com confront mythical monsters. Boss, very strong. Be careful. So, meron ding boss fight dito na lumalabas after, let's say, a few waves. So, malalaman natin yan guys. Excited na rin ako kasi dito pa lang, tower defense na. Muna, yung merong idol na adventure. Tapos, pangalawa, ito pa yung uh, raid mismo nila na makikita nyo naman dito is yung kingdom. Then, ito pa ang isa. Type of raid din, pangatlo. Ito yung last, yung dungeon. So, this is the super hard mode in the game. You do not get money and experience in this mode. In return, will be gift boxes with unique items for different characters. So, ito naman guys, NFT items ang uh, dinadrop nitong uh, dungeon, no? Pero, uh, makita nyo rin dito, siya yung pinaka super hard mode sa uh, raid or PvP mode, game mode dito sa The Dynasty, no? So, nakaka-excited naman to. So, yung unang dalawa, maaaring yung unang uh, binanggit ko sa inyo guys, which is nga yung... Uh, yung kingdom, then ito pa isa, yung heroes. So, itong dalawang to, uh, pwede kayong mag-gain dyan ng tokens, okay? Based sa aking uh, pagkakaintindi, ah. Then ito, wala kayong makukuha ah, dito sa The Dungeon. Kasi nga, makikita nyo, super hard mode siya. Then, ang ipamimigay naman niya is NFTs. So, ibig sabihin, for example, kung makakuha ka ng maganda or rare items, pwede mo siyang gamitin sa character mo or pwede niyong ibenta sa marketplace, no? 
So, hindi ka nalugi guys kapag nakakuha kayo ng NFT dito sa The, the Dungeon. No? Pwedeng lumakas yung character nyo para makapag, makapag-grind pa kayo na mas malakas sa mga kalaban. Then, uh, pwede nyo ibenta naman kung gusto nyo. Okay? Nakadepende yan guys sa decision nyo kung ano ba yung maaari nyo gawin sa items na makukuha nyo dito sa uh, The Dynasty. No? So, ayun guys yung ating 3 types of raid or PBE pa lang to guys ha. PBE sa uh, The Dynasty, no? So, ayun. So, una is Heroes. Binalikan ko lang para makita nyo, guys. Pangalawa is Kingdom. Heroes, ito yung gaya ng sinabi ko. Tulad nga po doon sa The Nine Chronicles. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung review ko doon, panoorin nyo din para makita nyo ideally kung ano yung kalalabasin itong game na to. So, pwedeng idle to or pwedeng manual kasi may arrow. So, makikita nyo, guys. So, pwedeng kayong mag-control or pwede rin maging idle yan. Hindi natin sure. Then, ito nga guys, pwede rin, uh, ito, tower defense. So, hindi pa natin din alam kung ano yung final decision din ng uh, The Dynasty, no? Kasi pwede nilang baguhin yan, guys. Tandaan nyo, ah. Ito pa lang yung pinapakita nila doon sa kanilang game. Then, ito yung final, which is itong dungeon. So, malino tayo, guys, doon sa three types of raid in adventure. So, ito nga ng mga kajiji, pag-usapan din natin yung arena or PvP dito sa The Dynasty, no? So, PvP arena will have two modes. Ito, ah. So, meron silang 1v1 in action RPG mode and team up a 5v5 in turn-based. So, makikita nyo naman dito, guys, sa, uh, sa image na example dito sa screen, no? So, ayan yung magiging tsura ng PvP battle. Each battle costs an arena ticket that you can buy with gems. So, need nyo guys ng entrance fee dito. Makikita nyo, no? So, sa arena, kailangan nyo ng ticket. Each battle grants certain points that set the ranking. So, may ranking din dito, guys. Rewards will be sent based on the daily rankings via in-game uh, mail or Gmail. Record, you can check the last 10 battle uh, records in the battle record. So, ibig sabihin, pwede rin kayo mag-check ng history of battles yun dito sa PvP, no? So, it's time for you to choose your power. Are you on the side of the humans or the gods? This will be a super exciting mode for all players. A large map will open. You can uh, own up to two squads, five generals per squad, to both defend your castle and destroy other players' strongholds and bring back your resources as well as glory to your power. So, ibig sabihin lang ito, 10 uh, na heroes ang need nyo kasi uh, yung first squad is magdedepend sa castle. So, hindi ko pa sure kung ano yung castle. Ah, doon sa kanina nabanggit ko. Baka kasi may iba pang gameplay. So, ibig sabihin, yung yutukon niyang defend the castle is yung uh, kingdom na game mode. Then, ito nga yung sumunod, which is yung magpipvp ka. Ayan, no? So, nakadepende nga sa inyo yan, guys, no? Pero hindi naman nila ni, uh, nire-required na agang two squads. Ang sinabi lang nila dito, you can own up to. Up to, ibig sabihin, hanggang dalawang squads. A pwede mong gamitin sa isang account no ang uh, sampung entities yan na character pero na sa inyo pa rin decision nga guys kung gusto niyo bang subukan itong game na to or hindi no so share ko lang sa inyo yung info then next na tayo so ito yung mga sample maps so may mga katawagan sila dito guys so for example may China uh, meron sila ma meron pang mga iba't ibang klasing lugar naka sila sa parang country guys eh so Kung gusto nyo pa makita yung mga uh, example maps, pwede nyo check sa kanilang white paper. Okay? Then, ito guys, yung sa marketplace, no? So, in-game market will help players trade heroes or items quickly and easily. And DYT will be the currency used here. So, yun nga. So, pwede kayo mag-trade. So, for example, kung gusto nyo magbumili ng NFTs or magbenta ng NFTs, dito sa marketplace nyo makikita yan. You can upgrade your equipment in the blacksmith. So, pwede nyo re-upgrade yung mga items nyo. Increase your power to help your conquer in increasingly tricky milestones. Only equipment in bag can be forged. So take note nyo yan. While equipped ones cannot be chosen. So kung ano naka-equip sa inyo guys, hindi nyo pwedeng i-level up. So make sure natanggalin nyo muna yon. Kung gusto nyo ipa-level up yung uh, items nyo no. So ayun guys yung sa marketplace. So nga no mga ka makikita nyo po dito na... Uh, may ranking din po ang The Dynasty, no? So, rank in the game will receive weekly rewards for each game mode and rankings are based on player performance in each mode. So, let's say nga guys, uh, nakabukoy ng malakas na team and may skills ka sa paglalaro ng The Dynasty, no? 
So, possible pwede kayo maka-receive ng weekly rewards from the Dynasty game. So, magandang ano rin yung guys, kasi nga, uh, yung parang worth it yung pinag-iirapan nyo no, sa game itself, no? Rewarding, kumbaga. So, ayun yung about sa ranking nila. So, mga ka -Gigi, ano nga po ba itong si Dynasty Token? So, makikita nyo nga dito, no, sa kanila official website din. So, investment, then, uh, ginagamit din siya sa Dynasty Game, Entity Marketplace, then sa rewards, then sa staking and farming, then sa wallet. So, let's say nga na nakapag-farm ka or nag-rewards ka, pwede mapunta sa wallet nyo sa Metamask or let's say, Uh, pwede nyo exchange na yan to other cryptocurrency, no? Then, meron din sila nga sa IDO uh, platform or pre-sale nila. So, ganun lang yung process niya, guys, doon sa Dynasty Token, kung ano yung usability niya. Then, makikita nyo rin dito, guys, yung sa total supply sa kanilang white paper. So, pwede nyo i-check doon, guys, yung more information. Then, ito yung token allocation. Makikita nyo naman kung saan napupunta. So, IDO is 8%, 8.75, private is 4%. 0.5, liquidity is 16.25, ecosystem is 20%, uh, play to earn is 35%, team is 8%, marketing and community 5.5%, advisor is 2%. So, ayan, makikita nyo naman guys yung percentage, diba? So, ang pinakamalaking uh, parte is itong sa play to earn mapupunta, yung DYT. Then, ang total supply is 400 million DYT tokens lamang. So, the vesting plan is shown in the below table. So, wala pa guys. Kasi nga, hindi pa nare-release yung... Kahit yung token nila, wala pa. So, wait na lang natin yun, no? Then, ito yung kanilang roadmap, guys. So, nandito pa lang sila sa phase 1. So, paputa pa lang sila nga, gaya na sinabi ko. Uh, Pa-release pa lang yung token nila. Yung IDO nga nila. Magkakaroon nga sila ng IDO. Upcoming IDO. So, make sure guys na nakafollow kayo sa kanilang uh, social media accounts kung gusto nyo mag-participate or let's say gusto nyo uh, sumubok or mag-take risk dito sa uh, The Dynasty, no? Para lang po ito sa mga risk taker, no? Kung hindi ka risk taker, huwag nyo na pong subukan. Wala naman sa pilitan dito, guys. Okay? So, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. So, chinecheck ka naman nila, guys, kung tapos na sila doon sa... Um, isang roadmap nila dito no so for example natapos na sila sa gantong activity i-checkan nila yon so nandito na sila sa phase 2 okay so guys hanggang dito lang po muna yung ating NFT game info video about sa The Dynasty then hintayin na lang natin guys na ma-release po itong game na to sa public no kasi as of now talaga guys is uh, waiting pa rin tayo kasi makikita nyo ito yung kanilang official website So, pag hindi ko yung play na, wala pa. E, pati yung buy DYT, DYT, wala pa din. Then, coming soon pa rin siya sa Google Play, siya sa App Store, no? So, hintayin na lang natin, guys. Make sure na nakafollow kayo sa kanilang Telegram group, uh, group channel, siya sa iba pang social media uh, accounts nila para updated po tayo, no? So, abangan natin to guys. So, siguro meron akong to follow up na video about sa kanilang uh, gameplay no kasi as of now information pa lang po about mismo dun sa game itself pero wala pa yung gameplay so hintay na lang natin guys uh, info lang din po about sa gameplay yung pinakita ko sa inyo so we'll see so maraming salamat dun po sa mga nag stick around until the end of this video sana po nakatulong itong NFT game info sa inyo lalo na po dun sa mga naghahanap po ng mga upcoming Uh, NFT games no such as this one yung The Dynasty. Sana po uh, nakapag uh, bigay po ito ng idea sa inyo kung gusto niyo ba tong subukan or hindi. Uh, kung hindi ka rin pa rin po nagsasubscribe pa sa aking channel, make sure to subscribe guys and hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga future videos ko dito sa aking channel. Maraming maraming salamat po guys sa uh, mga nanonood po ng mga NFT videos ko. Na-appreciate ko po kayong lahat. Thank you. Nang marami. So see you next time. Goodbye and good vibes. Bye guys. See ya. Bye bye. Stay safe everyone.